Hi, how's everybody doing today? I got a great one-liner for you. It comes from uh, Exodus 3, uh, verse 14. God said to Moses, I am who I am. That is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent you to me. Okay, I got a question for you. Who is God? Okay, yeah, you're not going to be able to answer that right now. I got you. It's a pretty tough answer. When uh, Moses was called to the burning bush, or summons, I should say, God wanted Moses to do something miraculous. He wanted to lead the Israelites out of captivity in Egypt. And he said, well, who's sending me? And he wasn't just asking for a name. I mean, that's a little superficial. I mean, God could have said, uh, yeah, I'm Yahweh. Here you go. He was saying, who are you that is sending me? What is your nature? What is your being? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. In other words, there's a distinction between God and us. There's a mystery. There's a, something different about God and us. Some say it's total love. Some say it's perfection and power. His, his being is different. In other words, his physical mechanics are different than us. He doesn't uh, have uh, certain uh, physical features like pain and sorrow. I don't know about all that. And, and this is the beauty of it. God said, I am who I am. Because he knew down the line Moses would discover who he is, not through this conversation, but through his interaction and involvement. So sometimes you may get a little bit confused over who God is. You might not understand all that he's about. You might hear some theologians talking. You might read something in a magazine and you're thinking, whoa, this is over my head. Number one, it's good. It's good that God is greater than what you can understand. Because if he was like us, he really wouldn't be a God, would he? All right, next thing. God did reveal a whole lot about himself to you. It's written in a book. Uh, you could experience it every day. That's because of Jesus. Jesus is a huge representation of, of, of God's nature, his character, his love, witnessed through Jesus. And it's wonderful for you to explore that. Look at the scriptures. Read through them and say, God is telling me something about himself right now through this verse. He is who he is, but he still wants to be your uh, personal savior. He wants to be a intimate part of your life. Um, I, I don't really think that uh, God is aloof or distant or this big powerful thing that can't involve himself in humans or he'd blow us all up. I mean, here, clearly, he's talking to Moses one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's how God is right now. He wants to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship, a distinction in your life. And he's a little bit different to everybody, because we're all different. Your relationship with your mom is different than your relationship with your best friend. But God's relationship is different with everybody, because he, everyone has a unique characteristic of themselves. And he still loves everybody, still die for everybody. There's some universal qualities there. But as you see through the scriptures, everyone had a different take on Jesus. Everyone had a different understanding of who God was. And that's because they were different, not because God was different. Well, I hope when you find yourself thinking, who is God, and not understanding the big picture of theology or religion and faith, and how does it all fit together with science, that this gives you a little comfort to know that God knows that he's bigger than what we can understand. And so he's going to tell us what we need to know. And in a big way, he already has. We just need to re-examine it. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful weekend here in Georgia. Very beautiful weather. I hope you all have wherever you're at today that you find peace and rest, knowing that it's finally Friday. All right. God bless you all.